battle between President Trump and Twitter heated up last night after Twitter flagged one of the president's tweets as promoting violence. In response to the protests in Minneapolis, which turned violent, President Trump tweeted, these, quote, thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd. And he added, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Twitter flagged the tweet for violating its policy of glorifying violence. Yesterday, the president signed an executive order, order targeting social media companies. The order accuses online platforms of engaging in selective censorship and disfavoring certain points of view. This morning, the president tweeted that Section 230 should be revoked by Congress. Katie Culver from Madison College says that removing this order does not benefit the president's tweets. The tweet that a lot of people are talking about today that got labeled about um, when the looting starts, the shooting starts, that would be something that without Section 230 immunity, Twitter would remove immediately because of concerns about um, being accused of incitements to violence. Right now, they have legal protection. They couldn't be sued for that kind of incitement. Uh, but if, if that protection went away, the president's tweet would be taken down uh, faster, not, uh, not left up. Katie Culver, by the way, is from UW-Madison, not Madison College. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called the president's executive order a distraction. In January, former Vice President Joe Biden also called for Congress to revoke Section 230. 